Yo, what's up, dudes? I'm here with Derek from Rev Amps. Uh, if you're not familiar with Rev Amps, they are an amazing amp company, and uh, I'm lucky enough to be at GitCon, and they are here. And uh, I got Derek to come and join me here in the room and show me uh, the difference between the Rev Generator 100 and the Rev Generator 740. How are you doing, Derek? I'm doing good, Steve. How are you doing? Great, great. Should I call so, you Steve or should I call you Pixie? Just call me whatever you feel like. <laughs> All right. Mark. Mark. We're on our way. <laughs> okay. So we're going to start uh, and just take you guys quickly through the differences between the 100 and the 740. There are several differences. Um, the most notable differences are the fact that the 100 uses a larger power section. It's 100 watts instead of 40 watts max. Uh, so you can run different power tubes in it. Um, the 740 is pretty much restricted to a 6v6 power section. Only. Okay. In the 100, you can run almost any 8-pin power tube. So, and you can mix and match as long as valves 1 and 3 and valves 2 and 4 are in a matched pair. So if you wanted a set of 6L6s and EL34s, so you could get, you know, a little more, little more crunch sound, a little more Brit sound out of it, you can do that. Okay. The other noticeable differences are the fact that you've got master volumes, uh, independent okay. masters, and presence and depth control on the 100 where you don't have that on the 740. Okay. So, uh, they're voiced very similarly, but we'll let you guys decide what you think. Yeah, so, let's, um, we were just demoing these a little bit, you know, to set up for this, and they, they sound damn good, I gotta say that. <laughs> I was like, wow, this, that's a hell of an amp. Well, thank you. Okay, so we're gonna start with your, uh, with your clean channel on the 100. Okay, clean channel on the 100. Yep. Uh, we set all the tone stack, like everything, the EQ's all set right at noon so that both amps are going to be fairly neutral. Uh, yeah. Okay. Play me some riffs. That sounds amazing. You want to check out the crunch? All right. On the crunch, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a trick because you can. Uh, we're running the gain fairly low, but if you go past three o'clock. The amp does start to, the phase inverter starts to fuzz out a little bit, and you okay. get kind of a faux phase effect, like or a fuzz effect. Sorry. Okay. Okay, go ahead. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know. I see exactly what you mean. Yeah. It feels really, really, really cool, right? Yeah, like it's, yeah. It's massive amount of saturation. Right. I hope it translates to the video what we're hearing in this room because it sounds amazing. It probably won't. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. crossing fingers. Yeah, crossing knowing our luck fingers. this morning. Yeah, know, knowing yeah. our luck this morning, it probably It all won't probably go. sounds clean right now. <laughs> I know. <Yeah. laughs> All right. Uh, on so that was the that was the first channel was the was the clean channel and the blue. Yeah. This is the crunch channel and it's green. Yeah, and it's it is still channel one. It's more like a crunch boost. So okay. you, you can toggle back and forth. Uh, the foot switch for the one hundred is a four button foot switch that you can toggle back and forth on the foot switch as well. You can also save um, your momentary toggle functions on the app as presets. So on your foot switch, you could have button one as clean, button two as crunch. Three as high gain with one set of settings, and then four as a second high gain, more like a high gain with a boost. Right. So I'll show you channel two to show you what I mean by that high gain with a boost. Okay. So over to channel two, and we're going to just pull all of the toggle functions out to start. <laughs> Thank you. 
you just hit a volume switch there. That dropped it from how many watts? It was at it was 100? at 100, and we went down to 10. Wow, that's a big jump. Yeah, yeah, and it's a huge cut, which again you probably won't be able to tell on the uh, on YouTube, but in the room you can hear you can there's hear a the massive volume, drop, massive volume drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and obviously, you know, if you're at home and you want to get that tone and crank it up, uh, that's where the 10 watts, you know, is going to be your friend. And when you're out on stage and you need that, you know, all those, uh, you know, that air volume being pushed out, you click to 100 and there you have it. You got it. Okay, yeah. so I'll quickly cycle through the different toggle functions on uh, on channel two. So we've got aggression, which is essentially gain boosts on our amps. Uh, you've got bright, which is a treble boost, fat, which is a like a mid-low push, and then contour, which is kind of a mid-push. Okay? okay? So maybe just riff on something, and I'm going to quickly cycle through the aggression so you can hear how it boosts. Okay. <laughs> favorite tricks that I try to get guys to demo is I actually roll the gain off on channel two um, and I use the aggression level as a boost and this gets the amp to start out a little bit more like a fat overdrive on the second channel okay. and then boost up for leads so check that out <laughs> Yeah. You know, it's not it's not overly bright and it, you still retain that clarity. Yeah. You know, it's hard. That's a fine line to walk. And I'm sure it's kept you up at night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it's probably kept Dan, our designer, up more than it's kept me up. But right. the, the thing that drew me into dealing with Dan and uh, partnering up with Dan in the beginning was the fact that there was so much clarity in, in the modern channel. Um I had never played an amp that articulate. Right. And I'm mainly a Strat and Tele player, so to be able to play an amp that I know a lot of guys gravitate towards um, using the generator stuff for metal, but it's so, so great for like kind of bluesy hard rock stuff because it's, sure. it's got a decent amount of sag to it, even though it remains tight. Right. So that's the 100. Okay. Okay, so. Let's switch on over to the generator 740. I'm assuming this is also, a, let me just guess here, it's also two different wattages and it can switch between 7 and 40. Yes! How did you know? Super genius. Yeah. <laughs> Pixie Licks. Super genius. <laughs> yes. Um, so we have two different amps that are uh, 740s. We have the Generator 740 and the Dynamus 740. Um, this is the Generator, which is in the same series as the 100 and the 120. Okay. Um, it's voiced quite similarly. You'll see, and you can tell me, you know, what you feel is a little bit different. Okay. Uh, again, you lose the uh, independent masters now. It's just individual channel volumes, uh, and you With lose your presence. In, yeah, right. and uh, you lose your presence in depth control. Okay. So. That's here. Here we go. So, do there. so I ran down to seven watts and I dimed the volume. Ah. So now you actually get power to break up, not just uh, break up in the preamp section. Because our amps are built that the gains are designed to be, um, all the saturation comes from the preamp section, not from the power section. So okay. your power section does color slightly, but doesn't do much. Like if you take and dime a, a 100 or a 120, if you have a 4x12 cabinet in the room, yeah, it's going to feel awesome because you're moving so much air. But from a recording standpoint, driving it that hard 
isn't necessarily going to open the amp wide open and then all of a sudden add in this power amp uh, saturation right. that that you'll get like with a Marshall. Sure. So. Sure. Yeah. But this on the 740 because it does go down to seven watts. It is. There's. It's a fun little trick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll pull you back and uh, let's try the crunch. Okay. Channel two. All right. And for the record, this is my favorite channel. same aggression levels on here so I'll uh, I'll click those in and you can okay. check the three different aggressions so, okay yeah, great go ahead. amazing yeah it really does uh, out of all the amps that we build uh, I will gladly admit the the generator 740 is my my favorite amp and my go-to amp um, I love its size uh, I love the little bit more sag you get in the power section compared to the 100 right. um, that being said if I'm playing in a larger venue I will probably gravitate towards the 100 or 120 for right. that but yeah I was uh, duly impressed by both um, you know, that it'd be a Sophie's choice for a lot of folks out there yeah. uh, between the two models. But, um, yeah, uh, amazing stuff. It really Thanks, is. Man. Yeah, yeah. All right, dudes. Well, there you have it. The Rev Generator 740 and the Rev Generator 100. Uh, thanks to Derek for, thanks, Steve. for uh, giving us that great demo. And um, check out more vids as they come out from GitCon. You bet. And as always... Thanks so much for stopping by and rock on.